Right then guys and girls, I've got another crazy one here for you. Videos mainly on Carnac, which is in France, Brittany. And it's another crazy one, another wild speculation based on evidence that I'm going to point out. I can't be fully sure of it, no one can, but if I'm not making new information and putting out new ideas, then I'm just not well, it's not even worth me sat here doing it. I've got a full-time job, so what is the point in me just sat here, just copying other people's work? I'm all about putting out new ideas. So with most of these, if you've not checked out my, if you're new here at least, my Stone Circle videos, especially the Ancient Mound videos, I must have about six or seven now. I've always said that what they call mounds are just not burial mounds, they were just crumbled into that shape, yeah, they've been covered over over time, so if you had a house made out of wood and mud, then as it eroded down, then it would end up being a pile, wouldn't it, and then get covered over naturally, just over time, or generally with flooding. Uh, I always point out these volcanic ash events, because if we're also talking about areas where there's not really any volcanic events going off here now or in the past then then i always think about some kind of soup forming yeah during the flood as it sets off the volcanoes and as the water would drain away it would get thicker and thicker which just layered over everything you see it's all right pointing out these circles uh, and almost being absolutely positive that they were mounds and roundhouses but when you're looking at these long processions of rocks I think at the area that I'm going to show you, there's a good few thousand, about 5,000, right? But if you take the site overall, they speak about 40,000 giant rocks, right? But the area that we're looking at, you know, you're talking about five or 10,000, which is just, well, it's unbelievable. So the site must have been something else. Now, I've even thought about it being a plantation of trees you know, like a line of trees that eventually got petrified and then just collapsed away or was shaped later on. Yes, it could have been something like a collapsed building that's fallen down sideways. But in my book, the videos that I've made on the, the supposed Viking burials, and I was pointing out how they were literally Viking ships yeah, that have petrified, mineralized. I've shown enough evidence for that, so this must be something similar, in my opinion. This was once wood at one time. When we talk about Karnak, and bear in mind that this site here is about a quarter of a mile away from the coastline, and you see the length of it, it almost looks like a giant ship. Bear in mind the videos I made on the Viking burials, it's like a giant ship's been thrown up on the rocks and broke up into three separate pieces. When you think about how they build them things with the ribbon going all the way down them. Thank you.